Hello, everybody, and welcome to Scene Time with me, Emma T. When I say Emma, you, you say T. Emma T. Emma T. And I'm lucky enough to have a wonderful guest with me today who will introduce themselves to you now. Hi, everybody. I am Brian Shea. I am an uh, improviser based in Hanover, Pennsylvania, but I mainly improvise out of Baltimore, Maryland, where I am a co founder of Highwire Improv. Oh, perfect. Lovely to have you today, Brian. So uh, what we'll do for our wonderful viewers is uh, we'll probably do around three scenes. Um, but to start off with, we'll just get a suggestion just to start us off on our first scene and just see where things go from there. Now, I understand you have a high wire deck, which is yes, available to purchase online, yes. I believe. Uh, I should yes, know. High wire iwiredeck.com <laughs> I must give credit uh, Barry Wright who's one of the co other co-founders and our friend Corianna Tado who is a game show wizard he's actually been on Jeopardy um, uh, their brainchild and they did all the work I just help tell people where to buy it um, our suggestion is ooh, envelope envelope yeah I'll put it on the stack. Thank you, Joseph. Oh. You know, since people have been asking for my autograph, I, I, I've hardly got the time to write them all down. I knew, I knew, Margaret, I knew you would make it. I just knew, I just knew it. And if I can help in any way, if I can, I mean, right now I'm stacking envelopes, but maybe one day I could, I could sing beside you or... Oh, or maybe God. maybe write a song. I have a song in my heart, I believe. Oh, Joseph, I, I mean, on all the posters, it's just me. On all of the... Well, and you look great. You look uh, great. You yeah. look great. On all the merchandise, the, the cups, the playing card set, the, uh, the, the T-shirts. It's just me, Joseph. I know, I know. I'm just a, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. I, I think it it would be crazy if I were part of, part of your act. I, I just I, I'll support you. I'll support you. Oh, oh, we got some some new merchandise in. We're we're going to have, you know, those things that people blow up and float on in a pool. It'll have your face on it. People can go swimming with you. Oh, uh. Did you authorize that one, Joseph? Because oh, uh, yes. uh, oh, I did. I I've made a deal with with a very very um, well known Caribbean resort. They're going to people will go on vacation and they'll be like, oh, there she is, and they'll go swimming with you. It'll be wonderful. I I chose a photo. I I, I hope you don't mind. Oh, hmm. uh, oh, let let me look through the email. Oh, you know. I probably shouldn't have given you access to to my emails, but oh, I know. Oh, That's... oh, a legally binding contract. Oh yes, it's oh. the best lawyers. We had the best lawyers make sure that there was rock solid. It's, uh, I just jo I can't. Joseph, yes. what's the, this picture you've supplied of me? It's got your face on it in the corner. Oh, it's it's this, yes, I was sneaking in behind you i i oh should i have cropped myself out of that well uh, i mean uh, uh, maybe i wouldn't have minded so much if you blurred into the background but it seems like you you've highlighted your face with with hearts around it and uh, and uh, uh, i'm number one look at me written underneath it oh i told them also to put superstar did they leave that out Oh, uh, bother. Oh, uh, well, uh, I guess, Joseph, now you're, you're on the merchandise. Maybe, maybe I should Pe give you a chance. People will swim with me. Yeah. Uh, I, I suppose, Joseph, I... Well, I, I'm recording, you know, my new album. 
shortly. And I guess if you've if you're already on the merchandise, and it's selling well. I mean, it is selling well, is it? The, the oh yes, your face on it. Yes, we guaranteed. We guaranteed many for the resort. They want them all for all their guests. Oh. I can, I can be on. I can be on the. I can be on the record. Is that that what you're saying? Because. Well, I guess if we've already committed to having your face on it, I mean, I, I suppose it, so that we have a consistent marketing strategy. I suppose I'd better let you let you have I, a go. I, I have a new tambourine arriving Monday. Okay. Well, let's uh, hope that fits in with my country and Western vibe. I I can't find I can't find my my mail. I'm oh. already behind on my bills and I can't find my mail. Oh, oh well, uh, um, uh, uh, check. Ooh, um, ooh, uh, uh, have you checked that? I, I know we, sh I know we shouldn't have moved out of the house and into this apartment. I, my mom and dad always took care of the bills, and now it's our job. I, I, uh. oh, the, uh, oh goodness, up. Uh, Okay, okay, uh... The, the, granola. The I have granola. Can they, will they take granola? No, 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 Tom, they won't take granola. But the, uh, the, the, there must be somewhere. Uh, okay, so the, the mailman comes to the apartment and... Steve, Steve, Steve. Steve, He's Steve, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and Steve must have put the mail somewhere. Um, oh, it goes in the box, mm -hmm. and then I hear I hear the noise. He he mm -hmm. he puts the lid down. I come out. I get it. Oh no! I was washing the dishes. Tom, did did do you think I washed the mail? How how can you wash? Oh my goodness! It's it's actually bits of the mail have, have mixed in with all of the the washing stuff, and oh my goodness! Uh, Hang on. Oh no! Yeah. Uh. I, can you the numbers on the bill? Can we can we read them? Can we tell how much we owe? Okay. Uh, I guess it's. I I don't think I I I don't think the. The gas company will mind if we just guess at how much we've used. Tom, do be so naive. They're, they're, they're gonna know. They're gonna know exactly how much it is, and it, it's on here. There's a seven. Oh, there's a seven there's a involved. Seven. There is a oh, seven God. involved. I hope that's not the first number. I'm just. Oh. I always do this. I always. I just get so distracted. I was trying to help by washing the dishes and cleaning up and keeping the house nice and tidy, and now I've gone and ruined everything. Yeah, it it is ruined. But you can you start putting things back together. Uh, you you okay. we can kind of work out where the bits need to go, and. Okay. Uh, I I think think you can do it. So yeah, you you just do that, but but don't get distracted now. Uh, I, I'll see if I can oh. get them on the phone. Oh. Oh, if we just okay. Oh, this is my credit card. I see a comma. Oh, I just blew a hole right through the bill. It's still a little soggy. <sighs> oh, our tax bill. Probably should have paid that one. Is this what they call laundering money? The, 
The phone's been cut off for some reason. Oh, no. Tom, you did pay the phone bill? I'm just waiting to see when the lights go off. That's probably next. We can play a game. Sure. How about hide and go seek? Who's gonna? Are we both hiding? Oh, I. I just should have stayed just, at home. Yeah, I think we should have. They won't find us if we run away. To our next adventure. Yes. You're the brains of the operation. After I feel good again. We're going to run away. That's how we solve all of our problems. Oh, yes. Let's go. Isn't it great that work makes us have these meetings to try and, you know, help us talk to each other and get on with our colleagues? Yes, I especially like that most of the meeting is spent with either food or drink in our mouths, so we don't have to talk if we don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like mm, the, the figures we turned over this quarter are kind of like, kind of like the number of... Mm, the number of calories in this cream and this coffee. Mm. Mm, lovely. I agree. The cream is very, um, it is connected to the turnover in many ways. And if we just, if we, if we, pay attention to all the numbers around us, we'll just become better accountants. Hmm. This sandwich is about the amount of calories that is equal to I to the raise I think I deserve this quarter. Hmm. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, it's got mustard on it. That just makes sense. Mm, these these grapes, I think they have the kind of the same number of calories as as my stress levels at work. You know? So currently quite quite low, but I'm eating lots of them. Oh, my. Okay. This pizza is cut into the number of slices that is equal to the amount of people who are my mortal enemy here at work. <laughs> oh. It's cut into many very small pieces. Mm, mm. Mm, yeah, these, this box of juices mm. is as liquidy as as my ooh as my ooh but you know the more I squeeze it the more I 
yeah, the, the number of squeezes is, is equal to the to the number of pay rises I think I should have this day. Uh, and I'm squeezing it quite a lot. I think they're going to regret putting us together at lunchtime once we figure out all of these things. The filling inside this pastry represents the blood, sweat, and tears that I give to this firm every day. As you can tell, it's quite full. Mm. I'm passionate about my work. Mm, the, mm. the number of chocolate chips in this cookie dedicates the number of extra hours I've worked for the company free of charge. And it is packed full of chocolate. It, it's almost 100% chocolate. I know your dedication. And that's, oh. that cookie symbolizes it. The lemons in this bowl represent, the number of lemons in this bowl represent how many inches I'm going to have to add to my waistband, my pants, after all these very profound lunches we've had together. Wow, that, that's a lot. I... I'm going to eat all these lemons. The number of chocolate bars I'm holding, which is just one, is the number of times I think I'm going to vomit all over the company's carpet. This antacid represents the letter of resignation I'm going to have to write because I can't get out of this chair. <clears throat> and the company never had lunches like that ever, <laughs> ever again. <laughs> and those were our scenes. Oh, that was so fun. <laughs> Oh, that Thank was so, so weird. Thank you. I love it. I love it. I, I feel like I've actually so been weird. eating then. <laughs> I feel strangely full. Lovely. I, I just ate. And I think that before this, so I think that was my dessert. That was my lunch yeah. dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Brian. That's so much fun. Oh. Um, yeah, so I, I just have one question I ask all my guests, mm -hmm. which is, what do you love about improv, Brian? Oh, I love, and I mean, it sounds so simple, but it is how different it is every single time. You know, mm. it's, it's, um, <clears throat> so I, fun fact about me, I had never performed on stage until 2009. I was 41 years old and got talked into doing, helping with a play, found out how much I love performing and then later got into improv. And I haven't, I've only done one scripted show since 2015 when I started improv because I just loved improv so much. And I did that show and there were two other people who did improv in the cast. And after the first performance, we were like, oh, we have to do the same thing again. <laughs> and we would torture the director by claiming we were going to change parts or we were going to do it. But it is, it's that new discovery. And it's, you know, we did this thing with these weird, funny character based scenes. Um, I, I last night was uh, directing a, a group that we're doing an improvised teen movie um, here in Baltimore. Uh, I have a show. I'm, I have one night a month. I do two shows <laughs> where the first show is a mixture of short form. No, the first show is a Herald team. And the second show is a mixture of short form and long form. 
And I love it because I literally do like almost every kind of improv you can do within a two hour span. So that that ability to just do whatever you want and, uh, and and make it however you want. And I think this whole thing with the online improv and these communities we've discovered and and built and these friendships we've built, uh, we've learned about because when we're in person in these little places, we tend to do just one thing a lot of times. And we found these worlds that are out there and people doing different things that um, I can't from a very herald game-based theater and i've learned so much about narrative improv over the last three years and love it i still love doing heralds but i also love doing a story once in a while and that ability to just create your own world and build your own thing um is, is just the best it is so much fun oh amazing yeah i, I love it too i love the yeah just a variety so much dramatic comedic ev everything is out there uh, so yeah. many great uh great people online yeah. uh, and uh so it was wonderful to have you today yes. brian and thank you everyone for watching uh this has been scene time bye